Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is going to show you how to insert tables. When you first look at the document that I've got on screen, you'll see three tables. This is the most regularly used purpose of tables. This one here, the top one, that I'm currently on here, this one is a table that would store databases. Now, when you're working with databases within tables, the field items, each field represents what we term a field, which is an item of a record. So we've got the name field, the street field, the postcode field, and then each row represents a record. So we've got Mary Smith from Ten High Street, Saltburn, Cleveland, and TS1214. So the fields go down the columns and the records go across the rows and that's what would be used like a database then you've got this type of table this is like you would use Excel where you would calculate numbers and things like that now if I just change that to let's say 200 and then I come over here and say update field notice that's automatically calculated out. I've, I haven't got automatic update on that's why I've had to do it manually but to do the entire table you would just dial like the table and do F9 on the keyboard and that automatically updates the entire table uh, the F9, F9 updates fields and then you've got this type of table well this is where you would use more for the layout and creating flyers and posters and things like that it's when you want certain data laid out in a certain way we would use tables just like that now the most popular way of inserting a table there's three ways that you can do it and either one's as powerful as each but what you would do is you'd go up to insert you come down to the tables group here and then you've got the tables drop down menu now notice here you've got insert table yeah and each one of these little squares represents a row and column so now I'll be putting a table in two by two just watch this section here so two by two two columns by two rows if I say four by four there you go you've got four columns four rows you just click the last one boom and there you go look you've got a table in four columns wide by four rows deep and that is as simple as it is to insert a table if you want to add additional rows to these tables when you want to you go into the last cell like so and you just press the tab key and each time you end up in that last cell like so it will add an additional row so you can extend your table as you enter in your data which is a really powerful item then you can just literally notice when you've got your tables in notice up here you've got your contextual menus you've got your table tools you've got your design tab which this one will do all the design side of it so it'll format your table for you as you can see there and the layout is where you would insert things and you know delete them and view the properties and things like that as well so this one's working on the table this one's making it look pretty but either way you can you can do pretty much what you want now the next way of inserting a table is going to insert table and then you come down to insert table now this gives you a little dialog box and this is where you can say the number of columns is five or whatever you want you can spin it to what you want or just type it in the number of rows you can put in to what you want and then you've got the fit behavior now fixed column widths you can set a certain size so you can dictate what size you want it or you can say just auto I always leave it on auto and that just puts it between margins but you could say I want um, 
two centimeters so column widths of two centimeters and it'll put four columns in at two centimeters wide which is which is good if you know exactly what you want that's that's really good then you've got fit to contents now obviously that means it will fit to the contents of each cell but it'll pick the widest cell that it finds and then it'll adjust it to that width or you can say auto fit to window and that just goes between margins basically but that would work whether you were at landscape orientation or portrait orientation so it's really good and then this one would be remember dimensions of new tables so if I set them at let's say four columns at, at two inch each or, or 2.5 centimeters or whatever it is then every table thereafter if I put a tick in this box every table thereafter would be the same really good if you're doing te tables on a regular basis so we're inserting a table here we're going to say number of columns is four number of rows is six we're going to have them fixed column widths automatic meaning it's going to be automatic between the margins and we'll just say okay there there you go look one two three four columns and six rows down and as you can see there real quite nice and easy now the next way of putting a table in is what we call the draw method now you go to the insert ribbon again you go down to the tables group and this time you say draw table now when you draw in a table notice that my mouse pointer has changed like a little pencil and I draw a little border on here like so notice on the contextual table tools menu the design tab over here in the draw borders I've got the table draw table and the erase table and notice here I've got the line style now I've picked this double line style and I've picked three quarter point the size of the thickness of the line and I've cut, picked the pen to be a blue color so if I say now well I'm okay with that I've got my outline drawn so now I want to put a straight line we'll put it at one and a half and I want the colour to be blue so now when I draw what shall go from it now if I don't go from one side to the other what will happen is it would draw me another table inside and notice now I've got a big header I can pick the column width that I want to pick and then I can pick this column width what I want to pick here and there you go look easy as anything and I can pick and draw pretty much what I want when I want to turn the pencil off notice it's still a pencil I just go up to the design tab in the table tools design tab I go to the draw borders and I just click on draw table notice now that's gone if I want to erase anything on here I just go to the design tab the draw borders pick the eraser up and now I can erase the rubbers erase the lines if I turn the eraser off I just click it again it gets rid of that absolutely powerful like you wouldn't believe when it first come out I weren't real keen on it but once once you've used it after a while it does become really really good so inserting tables are very easy there's nothing difficult about inserting tables whatsoever um, when you're working with your tables you need to know how to select the tables in as well now if you're going to be selecting a table just cells you literally just highlight the cells now if I just let's imagine that I just put some text in here and imagine we've just got them and I want to highlight them now I can go in the bottom left hand corner of any cell and click and that will just select that one entire cell if I do that and then go across the cells notice I can do as many cells as I want so I can just literally extend it as I want to extend it and then once I've got them all selected I would just literally do what I want to do with them like you would normal formatting we'll center them we'll put a bit of bold on 
we'll change the color to let's say whatever color we want and then that would just work as simple as that alternatively to selecting them in that manner I could literally if I want to select an entire column all I have to do on the column is go there bang there's one column if I want more than one column I just click and drag across the columns easy as, as anything if I want to select a row I just go to the side of the row click if I want more than one I just click an old and drag down and that selects the cells as well if I want to put a record in here let's say that I just say uh, Mary um, and then uh, just imagine that now if I want to insert I go to the table tools design layout and then I go insert above that's a row above insert below it would put a row in below so I'll say above notice now it's shoved the records down if I want to insert a column I just place my cursor whichever column I can insert a column to the left or I can insert a column to the right it is so easy absolutely fantastic um, if you want to delete you just place your cursor in the row or column and you come to the table tools layout rows and columns and you click on the delete button notice I can delete cells I can delete columns I can delete rows I'll delete that row look there it's deleted I can delete columns so if I go into the let's say the town column and then I go in there and delete the column that's gone or I could delete the table and just click deleted the table and basically that is as easy as it is to work with the um, tables inserting them inserting items columns and rows just be careful when you're deleting um, cells on their own because if I delete a cell notice how Mary comes from Saltburn and the next record underneath would come from we'll just let's say Bob and Bob comes from Le uh, Leeds if I delete Saltburn as you'll see in one second and I just take the cell out notice shift cells up notice now Mary's coming from Leeds so it's not recommended just to delete cells don't it's a big no-no take entire columns or entire rows fine but not single cells because it can mess your databases up um, on that note I'd like to thank you very much I hope you found it informative um, again don't forget to check our other videos out and I have got other videos uh, tutorial 20 onwards on now to work tables format tables things like that I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching bye